So LG have been getting a lot of attention thanks to this awesome foldable dual screen phone. I'm going to show you guys some really nifty things that the G8X can do, such as camera reflector mode, game console setup, shifting apps, and a ton of others. So stay until the end to make sure you don't miss out on any of the cool features that this phone has. So guys, let's get into it. Starting off with the cameras, we have some super interesting features here. So first up is the dual camera mode and basically if you open up the camera in the top left hand corner you will see this little icon and if you click on that icon as you can see the image also appears on the left hand side screen. So now what you can do is completely flip the other screen around and you get this dual view and this is really cool because if you're busy taking a picture of friends or family they can check themselves out in this other viewfinder and pose for an epic pic. Another really cool feature is reflector mode so you have to be in the selfie mode in order to activate this but all you then do is click on the flash button twice and the left hand side screen acts as like a huge flash what's even more cool is that you can actually change the color tone of that flash to best suit your selfie this is so cool For all my gaming lovers out there, this one is for you guys. So if you click on this gaming icon right over there and select one of these pre-installed games, so I selected Asphalt as an example, what you're then gonna do is rotate the phone into landscape mode and give a little swipe on the menu bar. You'll see this little gaming icon, select that, and then if you toggle on LG Gamepad, as you can see, the entire other screen turns into a gamepad. What's even more cool is that you can even choose from other gamepads, so depending on your preference, just select the one that you'd like to use and just just like that guys, your entire game has been completely elevated thanks to this additional screen becoming a gamepad. And the fun does not stop there guys, you can even customize and make your own gamepad. So all you have to do is swipe right until you see this create custom gamepad, click that little plus icon and right from there you can add different buttons, you can add left or right toggles and what's really cool about this is you can place them exactly where it suits you best. So if you're a huge fan of gaming I'm sure you will absolutely love this and it definitely Definitely does make gameplay a whole lot better. One of the coolest features about this foldable dual screen phone is that if you want to send a bunch of emails via Gmail, you can turn one of these entire screens into a keyboard. So of course you're going to open up Gmail and then over here where you click compose email, you're going to turn your phone into landscape mode and then right over here you're going to see this dual keyboard icon. If you click on that, it turns the entire bottom screen into a keyboard just like that and then you can type your emails. This is a great feature because now of course you have a much larger keyboard to type on. Also, if you're finding it a little uncomfortable to type, another really cool nifty feature is you can actually split the keyboard. Just like that, continue typing, doing your thing and then when you want to return it back to original, simply plop it back together. This is a really nifty feature and definitely check it out. Ooh, now this one is super nifty. So if you click on the settings icon on the left hand side screen and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see this My Pick app option. And basically over here, you can select any one of these apps to open up every time your phone is open. So here I just selected WhatsApp and now if I then close the phone and open it up, every single time I open the phone, the bam, WhatsApp will be opened on the left hand side. You can of course go back to settings and choose another app. So for example, I got WhatsApp on the left hand side, Instagram on the right hand side, it's totally up to you. So I don't know, if you're an accountant and you always need a calculator, make that your app. Or if you love searching Google Chrome like most of us do, then make that your MyPick app. The options are pretty much endless and I love this feature. Now because of these two screens guys, this phone is a multitasking beast. For example, you can open up Chrome on the right hand side and search for anything you want. So I just searched for the LG G8X price and then you can open up another Chrome tab on the left hand side and search for maybe another LG phone and then cross compare those bad boys because obviously having two screens makes it so easy. What I really love is opening up YouTube on the left hand side, say I'm looking for a product or something specific, then going on to Amazon and 
keep searching that product, cross comparing, seeing all my options and multitasking like I've never done before. Honestly, once you've started doing things on this phone and utilizing both these screens, it is so hard to go back to a single screen device. Here is also another example of how you can multitask in landscape mode. So I just had maps open on the top. I was taking some location notes. And then for all my Instagram lovers out there, if you have Instagram open on the right hand side and you're going through your gallery, you can literally see which picture is best going to suit your feed. So there are literally tons of different things you can do to multitask and make life way easier. Now, I'm sure you're busy wondering, how on earth do you take screenshots on this phone? And it's actually pretty easy. So to screenshot the right-hand side screen, all you're gonna do is hold down on the power button and then the volume down button at the exact same time. So you click, hold, and ba-bam, it takes a screenshot just like that and saves it into your gallery. If you wanna take a screenshot on the left-hand side screen, what you're gonna do is swipe down on the notification panel and click on this capture plus icon. What that does is screenshots the left-hand side and then you can of course make edits on it, draw whatever you want and save that to your gallery. But then on top of that, a really nifty thing you can do is let's say for example, you're sending a message to a friend on WhatsApp, you're busy browsing on the left-hand side. If you click on this little icon on the keyboard, it will automatically take a screenshot from the left-hand side and place it into your message. This applies to Gmail, notes, messages, you name it, and all your screenshots can be found in your gallery. This is another epic mode and actually something I can see a lot of people using. So by now I'm sure you have seen just how insane the hinge is on this phone. You can tilt these screens to absolutely any degree and as you can see it'll hold with no problem at all. I also love that you can just completely flip the other screen around and make your device smaller again. But as mentioned what's really epic is tent mode. So if you place your phone like this and you swipe up on the notifications panel, you can change the orientation of the screen. So you just rotate it 180 degrees and now not only can you browse on one side of the phone, but so can someone else on the opposite side. How cool! I absolutely love this feature and I can honestly see this being used in a number of different scenarios. Let me know, would you let your friend browse on the other side? Now, wide tablet view makes browsing the internet even more awesome. So let's just say you've searched for, I don't know, Mr. Bean funny faces, as one does, but now you actually want a bigger, better view. Then all you have to do is click on this tiny little quick menu icon and select the wide view option. And what this does is it actually opens up the entire page onto the other screen. So now you can see way more across both the screens and this also works in landscape orientation. Of course, there is a big divide between both the screens, but still, if you wanna take a screenshot, all you do is hold down on that power button and the volume down button, and it will screenshot the entire page without the divide in it, if that makes sense. So because this phone has two screens, you can actually move apps from one screen to the other. And all you have to do is take your three fingers and swipe across, bam, just like that. And then to get the app back onto the other screen, you just swipe again, bam, 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 baby. We all know LG for that knock knock feature. And if you just knock knock on the screens, it turns them on. Of course, if you want to turn the screens off again, all you do is knock knock again and the screens turn off. Double tapping also works just as fine. Tap, tap. <laughs> Another really cool little nifty feature is if you triple tap anywhere on the screen, it magnifies the entire view and then with two fingers you can navigate just like this. To return back to the original view, all you do is you triple tap once again and for bam, you're back. Then onto some quick features and if you open up the gallery but then click on this little dual screen icon at the top, it'll actually use the entire other screen as a viewing window. So once again, this makes life so much easier and if you wanna get rid of the view, all you do is you click on that dual screen icon again and you're back. Another cool thing you can do, and I'm sure some of you saw this coming, is you can open up a number of different apps, but then guys, you can split screen them. So right at the top here, I'm split screening maps with the calculator. So not only can you browse on YouTube and check out some maps, but you can also calculate at the same time of course, you choose what apps you want to choose, but this is so nifty. And then let's not forget, you can actually copy and paste from one screen to another. 
So I'm just copying the text on this WhatsApp message. I opened up notes on the left-hand side and pasted that message. I can then type out anything else on the left-hand side screen if I wanted to copy that message as well and paste it onto the right-hand side of the screen. This honestly makes life so convenient and also really speeds up your workflow. I'm so excited to see what new features will come from foldable phones this year. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!